Hi everyone. Okay, so in this session, we are going to see what is the difference between ARA, which stands for Access Risk Analysis, and in brackets, I have written as AC. What does AT mean? It is a component of AC, and uh, RM, Risk Management, which is a component of GRC. So in the very initial days, even I was confused about this particular uh, two components. So that's what I thought of making a uh, clarification video on this. So here, ARA stands for Access Risk Analysis, whereas RM stands for Risk Management. Both the com both the tools here talk about risk. Okay, but I wanted to be I wanted to give you more clear explanation how how they differ exactly. ARA and RM. So the first difference it's, it is you can see ARA is a component of access control. So GRC has totally following components, right? So these are the components we have. We have access control, which was previously called as Versa. And then we have process control. We have risk management, global trade services, Nota Physical Electronica. These are the five components of GRC. So first let's discuss about this risk management. What does this risk management deals with or what is it about? So if you think about any business, any uh, in every business there will be different types of risks. Right? So let me show you some of the examples basically. Uh, types of risks. So you see here the list there are uh, I think there are mostly related to financial sector you see like uh, a political risk credit risk uh, these are like better ones strategic risk compliance risk and regulatory risk financial risk operational risk okay now what do you mean by operational risk for example i'll just give you the covid situation which we are facing currently the during the covid corona virus uh, lockdown there was a lot of disruption happened to the operations right so most of the companies were shut down most of the companies were not able to operate properly because they were not prepared for the such scenario earlier so the breakdown of so when it was a complete lockdown we were unable to go to the office and if you do not have a laptop or a remote support facility basically you cannot uh, continue the operations so that covid situation is, is a better example for a operational risk so now as we already faced this risk now we are prepared we are prepared in what way like setting up of work from home option uh, acquiring the necessary infrastructure for laptops and uh, uh, the facilities are getting arranged now they have also decreased uh, renting of spaces to save money and invest in the remote working culture uh, related thing so that is the preparedness uh, they are preparing for the next such scenario in future if sub covid like situation again repeats in future now we are well prepared how to deal with it so every organization has to have a proper agenda or you have to see you, you can say a proper road roadmap if such type of risk is occurred how to deal with it so there are different examples as i told you strategic like strategic means a competitor coming onto the market compliance or regulatory risk introduction of new laws and legislations like uh, and the financial risk interest rate high on your business loan or non-paying customer so these are all the different types of risks which have nothing to do with sap they have nothing to do with sap okay so this tool which we are referring now risk management it will be providing you the framework to deal with the different types of risks which are not related to sap 
like strategic operational regulatory compliance financial risk etc okay so this is very very sophisticated tool and also there is a good future for this tool in coming days because the importance is we are gaining there is a lot of importance coming up for the risk component in every organization so that is about risk management it's a it is a component of sap grc whereas now coming back to our area access risk analysis it is a component of access control so within access control we have four sub components so these are the four sub components access risk analysis emergency access management business rule management access request management so you can say this is a sub category under the main thing so access risk analysis what does it deals with basically in the name itself it suggests uh, access risk the risk related to access the risk that is caused due to extra authorizations or unwanted authorizations a user is holding in sap so this is purely sap related risk within sap software how to identify which user is having unwanted access or extra access or privileged access so this tool will help us in doing that activity managing the risk which risk i'm talking about only related to access risk okay so that is the major dip that is a max that is the actual difference between ARA and risk management okay hope everyone is clear with the difference right see you all in next session again with some other topic thank you